Hello, my name is Dr. Connie Johnson. I'm a pediatric physical therapist and I'm here to tell you about Jobs for All. Um, I had the opportunity to take a course at uh, Virginia Commonwealth University this past spring about supported employment and they really dove deep into understanding what jobs are available in the community and how people are prepared for those jobs after they've transitioned from school. And I know that with many of the students that I work with, it's always a challenge to um, understand what all the skills are that our students have and what they actually have within their capacity to learn. And of course, we want them to obtain competitive into integrated employment if possible and supported employment um, uh, as an option. And so there are resources where this information is, but it's kind of buried, it's hard to find, and it's hard to curate. So I had an opportunity this summer to partner with students from George Washington University Physical Therapy Program, and um, they created job descriptions for some of the most commonly held jobs within our communities. Um, the students went out and they observed the um, the work taking place in the community and then they went um, to various websites that had job descriptions and they curated um, them. I think that they can be really useful to guide people um, into considering what the skills are that youth have, what the skills are that can be built upon, and which jobs might be good matches for the students. Um, of course, we always want students to have their jobs of preference, and we want to um, make sure that, um, that the jobs are a good fit. But there's a lot of jobs that our students could be preparing for that maybe they're not because they don't realize that they have some of the foundational skills for the job. They might um, not know what skills it is that they could be working on even while they're still in school. So these lists can be very helpful um, for to help um, stakeholders understand what that looks like. Um, these are free and available for anyone to use. If you're looking at creating programming that's going to support gaining some of those physical skills, um, you can look to the Fit for Work Activity Program, and that um, contains a lot of resources to help you to um, determine what it is that students, what specific skills to, students need to work on and some of the physical activities that they might engage in to, to promote that. So um, I hope this is helpful for you, and um, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.